doesn't even have any color to it anymore. How's it going, y'all? <laughs> uh, I was going to uh, get back to my regular videos pretty soon. For the summer, I was going to do my um, my old thing, my rope and tarp and all that. And, uh, you know, spend all my time out in the woods doing things very cheap and setting up shelters and all that kind of stuff. Kind of getting back into the groove after what happened with my, my tent. But... Uh, yeah, I've been wondering exactly what happened with that fire. And so, it's been killing me thinking about it. And I've been in a... That last video, I answered all the comments. So, the totals of the comments are now over a thousand. So, you can imagine the personal messages I got from that video. But, everybody's pure, pretty curious about what, I, what went, went wrong... And I was kind of sad that I didn't get didn't get it caught on, on, on film, on video. So what I'm gonna try to do is before I get back into my regular my regular thing, I'm gonna try to uh, recreate what happened because and I'm not gonna boil water and I'm not going to um, cook any food. I just wanna kinda recreate it and watch and see what it does. And uh, see what the flames do, and see how it acts. And uh, so what I did is I went and I got uh, Nick and I. Nick helped me, didn't he, Nick? Yes. Okay. Now Nick and I, we went back out to that area in the woods, and just for the sake of making it exactly like it it was now, I went and I picked up some more of the exact same wood that I used last time. This old dried stuff here. I'm not real sure if this was sweet gum if it, or if it was hickory, but it is the exact same wood. And uh, as you can see, we have scraped off the bark, and uh, I've done uh, we've done a lot of splitting to it because I want it to be. And I'm even going to start it with a pine knot, and uh, we're going to um, look at that. That's stabbing in there. We're going to uh, recreate it as best as we can because I want to try to recreate what happened last time so I'm gonna split all this up and then we're gonna we're gonna um, we're gonna make a fire and uh, we're gonna watch it and see what happens and uh, the uh, the chimney's pretty much ruined it all shrunk but I think it'll still work so let's take a look at it all right now <clears throat> I got the tent set up and I got the carbon fiber chimney set up, what's left of it. You can see how bad it shrunk from the heat. And uh, Tiny. Yeah, it is, ain't it? And I got the wrap around it right here so that we can close it off just like last time. Because, you know, I want to see what it looks like. And uh, I got the spark arrester and the chimney cap on it. You can see it burnt the paint off of it. And I got an extra camera right over there aimed straight on the top. So you're going to be catching the action here. And that up there is going to be catching that. I don't really want to miss anything. Now I'm going to experiment around with this a little bit more. I'm going to try it without. I'm going to try it with this open. And I'm also going to try it. I'm going to cut the vent off and try it. But uh, I'm going to gather the wood up. And then we're going to get it going just like the first time. Alright. <clears throat> I got me a bed of sticks laying right in here. And what I'm going to do is, like I said, I'm going to try to I'm going to try to make it as close as last time. So this is pretty close to the same size uh, pine knot because I mean I'm 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 trying to make everything just the same. All right, Let's see right here because I'm just the curiosity is killing me, and I think it's it's killing everybody else too as to what it looks like and what happened. So. We're gonna do everything. <clears throat> we're gonna do everything just the same way. Like that, fat boy up. Yep. Of course, the wind's blowing worse today. All right, we'll let this catch on a little bit. All right, went out. All right, 
All right, let's go ahead and get it in there. Hey, it went out again. I ain't never had. Must be the wind. Man, that's that's unusual for uh, fat wood. All right, maybe with it out of the wind, it'll be all right. I'm gonna start putting some of this wood around it right here. Just like last time, I'm putting all these little splinters around it, trying to get it going. As soon as it gets going real good, I'll uh, start that other camera. I guess at any time you get bored watching this, you can just fast forward it. But you know, I'm I'm, I'm wanting to catch the whole thing on on video to see how it looks. <clears throat> Got my neighbor over there weed eating. Springtime. Just get some yard work done. Yep. See, that's what we should be doing instead of out here goofing off of this thing. You know what? Yeah. <laughs> Shouldn't we? Yeah. All right, this thing will get going real good here in a minute. It's, it's, it's already going. That's another thing, too. Have you noticed, Nick, how the flames... It's jumping above the grill. Yeah, they're jumping above the grill, but they're also... You can kind of see... You can kind of see how the, the, the flames are acting like they're being pulled. And now, that may have something to do with the... Uh, that might very well have something to do with the um, that pipe right over there feeding in. All right, now I'm not going to close the door just yet because I'm trying. I'm trying to make it just like last time. I'm trying to make it to where I'm getting. I'll, I'll let it run for just a couple of minutes. Get all this wood right here caught up real good. Now something that I've already noticed a little different this time is I see a little bit of smoke coming off this wood. There wasn't no smoke coming off of it last time. Alright, I think it's them skits. Let's move this right here. I don't think I need any more small pieces. Put a couple of big pieces in here. I see now it's already getting up. I think it's starting to act kind of like it did before. All right. We got wood flying. Yep. I don't think I caught that on camera, but that wood right there flew over there. That's all right. <clears throat> now I might have had more wood than last time, but that right there, that's pretty close. Ooh, lighter. Let me move that. All right. I think I'm fixing to close it up now. <clears throat> now this fire is pretty much acting the same because it's the same wood with no bark and there's no smoke. It's pure flying. All right, you ready to do this, Nick? Yep. That was about the amount of time, so let's close it off and let's see what happens. This is exactly what I did. Now, last time I closed it off because I felt like it was like closing off a wood stove door, and I acted like I thought that that, that air feeding up under the fire was going to throttle it down, but instead it started sucking it up the chimney. All right, I'm going to hit that other camera so we got another view. All right, I got that other one going. You still watching it? Yeah. I don't know if this is visible on this camera, but 
there's just heat pouring out of the top of it. There is. <clears throat> you can see the fumes coming out the top. Now look down at the bottom at the smoke coming off. Yeah, it's starting to burn. I better put my gloves on. <clears throat> Okay, you see the bottom down there? Starting to warp. The bottom is starting to melt. Should I open it? Or you almost want to I'll see the bottom, look at the bottom. Whoa. And there there you go. I'm fixing to go over and talk to the other camera. That's pretty clear right there what's happening. Alright, I'm not sure if you can see this on this camera yet. And that's getting pretty hot right there. It's starting to shrink down. Some fire is getting visible. All right, now there you go. Look at that red right there. It's going out of control. That's exactly what happened Whoa. last time. All right, now there you go. Look at that red right there. It's going out of control. That's exactly what happened Whoa. last time. All right, let me open it up. There you go. That's what happened last time. Oh. You see it? Let me back it up. It's glowing red. That's exactly what happened last time. I see we got it open up. And there you go. Look close, you can see how all around it has shrunk up. Yep. Alright, I'm gonna cut this one this off. Game visible. Alright, now there you go. Look at that red right there. It's going out of control. That's exactly what happened Whoa. last time. Alright, let me open it up. There you go. That's what happened last time. Oh. You see it? back it up. It's glowing red. That's exactly what happened last time. Now see we got it open up. And there you go. If you look close you can see how all around it has shrunk up. Yep. Alright I'm going to cut this one off. All right, you still filming? Yeah. Now, look right up here. Follow my finger. See right up there at the top? Let me grab this real quick. It's actually <clears throat> the part where the hole is. It ain't doing it now. It was glowing red. That's where I, I patched the hole. Now see with it with it open with it open it's under control. It died back down as soon as I opened it up. Alright. A couple seconds ago I could see this little part right here bending up a little. Let's do one more experiment and then we'll we'll, we'll end this. I'm gonna put some fresh wood in here. And we're going to see if the fire runs away with a lot of wood in it with this open. Now you can see it really shrunk it up that time. Alright, we still got wood in here. Now look at it. You see how the flames are starting to dance? Getting bigger. Yep. It may just be a... There ain't no telling... If I leave this open... Well, we'll see in just a minute. We're going to see if the flames get pulled all the way up into the top and get this thing here glowing red again. 
<clears throat> if it's true, closing the door had nothing to do with it. It was just simply a fact of either too much wood or the fact of having that vent tube. So I got a backup already. We're going to watch it again. I may have to cut the other camera on. If that top part starts glowing red again, we'll be able to tell. I see that's a pretty big fire right there, and I've got the door open. You know what? It's not shrinking. No, it's not shrinking. Well, it's already pretty much shrunk. You know what? Yeah. Would you say I had the same amount of wood on there as before? Yeah, pretty dang close. Yeah. Hmm. Now see, it didn't, I had a lot of wood on there and that wood's almost burnt up, but it didn't pull the flames up. Now that tells me right there that it had to do with pulling, it had to do with shutting the door. That was a lot of wood that time, wasn't it, man? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Do you notice how the flames look like they're twirling and coming up? I notice they're going to towards the left a little more because of the wind, but I know some dancing. All right, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some duct tape and I'm gonna tape up the end over here and see what happens. tape up this hole right here so that the only air it's getting is from the outside. Alright, let's completely cut this off. So see, now there's no more air coming up from the bottom. gum it. Let me get a new piece. I'm double taping it. All right, now let's ease over here and see what some another pile of wood does. We got plenty of coal here, coals. So we'll see what all this wood does. We'll see if that makes a big difference. So now what we have discovered so far, we have discovered that I filled it up with wood real good, okay? Good dry wood, and then we shut the door, okay? That made it, that exactly replicated what happened last time. It made it to where the flames got pulled all the way up to the top, overheated everything, filled the whole chimney up with flames, and got the spark arrestor going. So now what we're doing here is I have the air feed to underneath the fire cut off. So all it's doing now is it's pulling air from here. Now look at that. Look at that. Whoa. I'm going to cut the other camera back Jumping. on. It's doing it again. It's glowing. That there is glowing go, red again. hot fire. It's doing it again. Hey, there you go, once again. Fire. It's doing it again. And that's with it open. All right, now I'm gonna open up the air feed tube and see what happens. I can't believe that. I cannot believe that. That is just, that's mind blowing. And it's open. Don't want to get a little shot of that. Fire's jumping out the side over there. 
See the fires? Yeah, the fires even coming out the side right there. Starting to die down. Oh, oh. there it goes. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa. It's doing it again. And that's with it open. All right, now I'm gonna open up the air feed tube and see what happens. Ooh, feel that heat. I can't believe that. I cannot believe that. That is just, that's mind blowing. And it's open. Not wanting to get a little shot of that. Fire's jumping out of the side over there. See the fire's, yeah, the fire's even coming out the side right there. Oh, 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 whoa, whoa. Crap. Did I, did I get that? Well. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This little metal piece right here is smoking. Hey, back the camera. <laughs> yeah, that would probably be smart. <laughs> get a little. Oh, oh no. Of this. <laughs> oh, Dun, 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 dun. The end dun, 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 dun. of the carbon fiber chimney. Yeah, you're going to have to make another one. <laughs> Look, it's still smoldering. Yeah. Well, there you go, y'all. <laughs> Set the camera back down. Let's 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 finish this off. <laughs> Alright. I just can't believe that. Something's still burning. I don't know what it is. Okay, y'all. <clears throat> now, this is probably, this is very long and it's probably very boring, but for those of you that are interested in fooling around with this carbon fiber, I am very confused now because. We shut the doors just like last time and the fire went out, ran out of control, okay? Then we left the door open and the fire didn't run out of control. Left the fire open and plugged off the bottom air feed and the fire went out of control so bad that it made the chimney just literally collapse. And I can see now what it did. It literally melted the rivets out of the ring that held it together. Now one good thing right here is the grill is perfectly fine. That's not a stainless steel grill. That's aluminum or aluminum and it held together fine. Now let's, let's just try one more thing here for the heck of it. Woo! Oh, oh that's hot! That is so hot. That's very intelligent, touching it over and over again. Well, the thing is, is I wanted to see if that gets hot, because now I'm going to know that if we've got an oven or not. We've got a grill up top and an oven down bottom. Well, this is all interesting, then, if for, for the rest of you that are wanting to do some kind of research on this. This is a cool thing, okay? All right, well, I'll let you go, then. And uh, next time we get back to making videos, we'll be back to our old selves again, won't we, Nick? Yep. <laughs> We're open tarp and cheap stuff. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is great fun, wasn't it? <laughs> All right, we'll see you in the next one.